Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 24th, 2020. Well, today we got some news for you. I mean, you could decide whether it's good or bad. But regarding your second stimulus check and stimulus package, I would actually like to ask the viewers who do they believe is at fault? Do they believe all the politicians are at fault? Do they believe the Republicans are at fault, the Democrats are at fault, or the, the Democratic and Republican leaders are at fault? I only ask this because there are basically a lot of politicians that are actually stepping out and speaking out against their leaders and them not passing a stimulus package and leaving us hanging for as long as they have so far. And let's put this way, when Congress returns from back from their vacation next Monday, they're going to have their attention divided between um, the stimulus check as well as the government funding bill, which is due next month on the 11th. And a report from the Urban Institute shows that if there was a second and a third stimulus check, that it would save 14 million Americans from falling into poverty. The Trump, the Trump administration says that they are going to start the transition of power to uh, Joe Biden. This has caused a the stock market to soar, basically, and reach all-time highs this morning. But Trump says he will continue to challenge election the, the results of the election, basically, like he's been doing, like he's been doing this whole time with his whining. Well, on vacation, the politicians are voicing their uh, oppositions against their own leaders. Nancy Pelosi says she wants to spend a spend, spend big, and her starting point is three point four trillion dollars, and that she will not accept any stimulus package that is below two point two trillion dollars. Whereas Mitch McConnell says that he's only willing to spend $500 billion and he will not go any higher. That's how his standing point. And this is because improving the, the GDP has been improving as well as unemployment rate has been improving as well. And the GDP is a gross national, is a gro gross domestic product which basically involves all the products that are imported and exported out of the United States. And they're saying that's improved. I actually looked at that and it showed the numbers in the third quarter actually dropped. And now we're in the fourth quarter and the numbers still probably hasn't come out of that yet. So we'll see how uh, good old uh, Mitch McConnell tries to explain how the GDP is good when I'll show you results on the fourth quarter when it comes out. And you tell me if it's actually pretty good. So I think it's going to be pretty bad. There are Democrats and Republicans that disagree with Pelosi and McConnell. And we have a Democratic Senator, Chris Coons, that says that he would support a service package below $2.2 trillion. Wow, good for him. Democratic House Leader Hoyer wants help for the people, even if it's a smaller stimulus package. So the two Democrats want to go smaller. Democrat, Democratic Senator Kane said that a stimulus package under $2.2 trillion makes a lot of sense. So there's three Democrats. Then we got Republican Senator Lindsey Graham says that he's willing to go higher, higher than basically the $500 billion that uh, McConnell wants. Then we have uh, Republican Senator Susan Collins says that she supports a, supports a stimulus package greater than $500 billion. So we got two Republicans that support higher than $500 billion and then three Democrats that support less than 2.2. So we're going to have a big old stalemate going on here until uh, Biden gets into office. I guarantee this. No one's going to get no stimulus package. No one's going to get no money. And we're going to have around about 30 million Americans that are basically going to be evicted on December 31st when the eviction memoratorium expires, which is not a good thing. The Trump administration notified the, the um, General Services Administration that Trump is now willing to proceed with the transition of power to Joe Biden. Biden will now have access to federal resources, federal employees, and a $6.3 million budget Trump says that he does not concede, 
but he's willing to continue the fight as far as the electoral votes go. I mean, he's lost. I mean, Georgia's already recounted, and they've already said that he lost by 12,000 votes. Pennsylvania's already certified their results, and their results also showed that he lost. I don't know by how many votes, but, how, but Trump did lose. Trump needs to stop being a baby and grow up. That's all I got to say. And on the COVID-19 front in the U.S., we reported 169,190 new cases of COVID-19 and 889 fatalities on Monday. And I was looking at the COVID results state myself for the state I live in, which is Utah. And our current new COVID cases as of yesterday was 2,249 new cases. I didn't check out the fatalities part because I just wanted to see how many cases there were. Because I've been I've been talking to people that have been going around talking looking into hospitals as well as checking out those COVID testing centers and they say that they've they've passed by them and the centers are dead. There's like no one there in the testing centers and how the waiting rooms and most of the hospitals seem pretty vacant as well. But yeah, we have every, every country reporting that COVID-19 is running rampant, so I don't know what to say as far as COVID-19 goes. But I hear that every state is having an overwhelming surge of hospital cases as well as fatalities. And I don't know what to say about that. I mean, you, here in Utah, I mean, they say ours is going up every single day, but yet I don't see our hospitals being overpacked and I don't see the testing centers being slammed either. But who knows, that could change as time goes on. We'll find out. And if it does, I'll be more than happy to let you guys know. But until then, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful Tuesday evening. Please stay safe. And remember, we're on this together because basically we're all we got. Be safe.